Hello and welcome back to Electrology, your ultimate destination for in-depth knowledge about electrical engineering and power plant systems. In today's video, we'll explore reverse power protection in generators, a critical topic for ensuring safe and efficient generator operation. So stay tuned till the end. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. A synchronous generator is designed to supply active power to the grid under normal conditions. However, if the prime mover, such as the turbine, fails, the generator remains connected to the grid and starts operating as a synchronous motor. In this mode, it draws active power from the grid, and this reversal of power flow is detected by the reverse power relay. The consequences of this reversal depend on the type of prime mover. For example, in steam turbines, the motoring power typically ranges from 0.5% to 3% of the generator's rated power. During motoring, turbine windage loss increases, leading to potential damage to the turbine blades. The reverse power element in a numerical relay calculates the three-phase active power using the formula P equals VAIA cos phi A plus VBIB cos phi B plus VCIC cos phi C. Here's how it works. The relay considers forward current as the current flowing from the generator to the grid, which corresponds to positive active power. When the generator operates in motoring mode, active power flows in the reverse direction. If the reverse active power exceeds the set value for a specified time delay, the relay operates to trip the breaker, protecting the generator and turbine from damage. The reverse power setting is typically less than 50% of the motoring power. For instance, if the motoring power of a steam turbine is 4%, the reverse power setting is kept below 2%. A time delay of around 5 seconds is applied to prevent false tripping due to synchronization disturbances or other transient conditions. Reverse power flow in a generator can occur due to several reasons, most notably the failure of the prime mover or improper synchronization during generator operation. The failure of the prime mover is a critical cause. The prime mover, such as a steam turbine, is responsible for driving the generator to produce active power. If the prime mover fails, the generator remains connected to the grid but starts consuming active power instead of supplying it. This situation can arise due to various mechanical or control system failures. For instance, the governor, which regulates the speed and load of the turbine, may malfunction. Alternatively, there might be a failure in the governor valve, which controls the steam supply to the turbine or an issue in the boiler pressure control system, which ensures a steady supply of steam. These failures lead to a loss of driving force, causing the generator to switch to motoring mode and draw power from the grid. Another common cause of reverse power flow is improper synchronization during the connection of the generator to the grid. Synchronization is a delicate process that requires aligning the generator's voltage, frequency and phase with those of the grid. The synchroscope a key tool in this process indicates the relative frequency and phase difference between the generator and the grid. The standard practice is to close the circuit breaker when the synchroscope needle moves clockwise and reaches the 12 o'clock position. This ensures that the generator frequency is slightly higher than the grid frequency, allowing it to take up load seamlessly. However, if the generator's frequency is lower than the grid frequency and the breaker is closed, the grid will force the generator to match its synchronous speed. In this case, the generator will act as a synchronous motor, consuming active power from the grid. This improper synchronization results in reverse power flow and can lead to motoring of the generator. Both causes underline the importance of maintaining reliable control systems and following correct synchronization procedures to prevent reverse power conditions, which can potentially damage critical equipment. Reverse power protection is essential to safeguard generators and their associated turbines. Ensuring proper relay settings and correct synchronization practices can help prevent severe damage. And that wraps up our detailed explanation of reverse power protection schemes. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your colleagues, and subscribe to our channel Electrology for more such content. Also, if you'd like to support us further, consider hitting the thanks button or joining our channel by clicking the join button. Your support keeps us going. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.